and we're making good progress towards clinical studies. Um, I'm excited to announce that we received a, a breakthrough device designation from the FDA in July. Did you all know that? Elon Musk brain chip company Neuralink started human trials, where Neuralink company implanted a chip in the brain to create a connection between human brains and computers. Is it not exciting? With this futuristic technology, we can solve many problems, especially brain and spine related problems. Before diving into the science behind Neuralink, first we need to know what is Neuralink. It's a company that is developing brain computer interfaces, BCIs, to help people with disabilities. BCIs are digital devices that can be placed between the cortex and the skull, allowing people to communicate by thought. The technology could be used for a variety of purposes. For example, it might enable people who have lost the ability to move their arms or legs to use those limbs again. Let's dive into the science behind Neuralink. Do you know, there are 86 billion neurons in the brain. Neurons work to send and receive the signal for functioning the human body. Although neurons come in many different types, they generally have three parts, a dendrite which receives a signal, a cell body called a soma which computes the signal, and an axon which sends a signal out. The neurons of your brain connect to each other to send and receive signals, through axon a dendrite. This is the basics of how the brain sends a signal. Neurons are the cells that make up our brain and central nervous system. It's the way the message from our mind to pick up that ball travels from a thought down to physically moving our arm and hand. The concept of Neuralink is that by connecting Neuralink chip to these neurons in our brain and it can interpret the messages and implement them for us. Just think about that. If someone is diagnosed with ALS motor neuron disease and that person can't move, for example, Stephen Hawking. In that case, they could simply think about what they wanted to say and Neuralink could transmit this via Bluetooth to a smart speaker or other devices which could speak their thoughts for them. With this device, they do many more things like browsing the internet, including ordering groceries or booking appointments purely by using the keyboard and mouse with their mind. If it works the way it's intended, it is a game-changing technology. In the conditions of receiving the signal of neurons, Place electrodes near neurons in order to detect electric signals. There are neurons in the brain that carry information about everything we see, feel, touch or think. The technology is not different from how you would go about trying to measure the energy from an AA battery. This is the same thing done in brain implants called neuroelectrophysiological recording. You kind of need an electronic thing to solve an electronic problem. The next phase animal trials. Neuralink tests their devices by implanting N1 in the animals' brains of live, monkeys, pigs, and other animals. The testing is also done in rhesus macaque monkeys, where monkey called a pager, plays a mind pong game. The last phase called human trials. In human trials, they started implantine N1 in human brains. It is very difficult to implant N1 chip in human brain. So, in that case we use a one robot for surgical procedure. And that's how Neuralink is implanted in human brain. But it's just a early phase for Neuraline. Many miles to go ahead. Thank you for watching my video.